All right, so it's cold outside, and you've just been to the gym. You've already been to the gym today, but you still kind of want to get an ab workout. I know that midday motivation where you've already been to the gym, but maybe go again, or maybe just get an ab workout at home. So I'm going to show you a few ideas where you can get an ab workout on, on the bed. So go ahead and, uh, other than the obvious ways, go ahead and uh, clear the bed, of course, because you'll need any kind of space. So there's the obvious ones like the plank. You guys know the plank? Just go like this, hold it for time. That's really good for stabilizing the inside, I'm thinking. The, the more the abs on the inside, the really the ones that stabilize the spine. There's the obvious ones like the crunches. Crunches are pretty simple. I mean, everyone knows crunches. I'm not a fan. Personally, I think you move the upper abs more. I don't think I know. You move the upper abs more because it's attached to the more movable part of the spine, the thoracic spine, upper spine. So most people have underdeveloped lower abs. So I'm going to show you how to do some lower abs. You have your feet hanging off the bed. And there's one pretty simple where you just bring your, your knees to your chest. You could do scissor kicks. Probably works a little better if you're not hanging off. Scissor kicks. And then if you want to go to the other side, you can see where if my abs were to relax, I would fall back. So just sitting like this is already an ab workout. So if you're a beginner, try this out. I mean, give it a like if you like some of the exercises already. What are some exercises you would do in just any area at home, ab workouts? Give me some new ones. Let me know what you think. So there's another one too, more advanced. You elevate your feet. Elevate your feet up on the hips. This is a little high, but you get them elevated to where about here. And you do sit-ups. So already it's making me fall back. So I gotta really fight it just to get up. That's gonna be really tough for your abs. So all you really need is open space. I gave this an example because me personally, I spend uh, a certain amount of time in bed. It's the most comfortable part of my room. I'm not a fan because I'm so tall, I'm six foot nine. Sitting in a chair is tough. So I put my pillows up and I sit against the bed. So if you're sitting against the bed, so you obviously can't do crunches, but you can also lift the legs and that's going to be tough. It's going to be working your hip, hip flexors as well. Just a few ideas. If you want to get a ab workout at home after the, after you hit the gym, go ahead and do your heavy lifts. But once you get ab workout at home, try some of these out. Let me know what your exercises are. Peace.